Nicholas Paul Humiller Dream Guitars, and I'm really delighted today to show you this guitar. This is the first ever Masterpiece series by Preston K. Thompson and his crew. Um, the Masterpiece grew out of their desire to do something really special that just pushed all of their um, individual talents to the limit. Um, I talked with Simon, who's one of the key people that worked on this guitar as far as the design and, and the inlay and, and um, detail work. Um, and got a lot of information from them on how much time and effort they put into this instrument. So it's the first ever. Um, they are planning on doing a few more, um, maybe one every couple of years. But these are sort of just where a builder challenges themselves to see what they can do. Um, so let's go over this one in detail. It's got a lot going on. Um, to start with, it's got Shipwreck Brazilian. So a lot of you may know about that already, but they have some wonderful Brazilian that, that actually came from a shipwreck. And it's just stunning, really amazing wood. The tap tone is incredible, and trust me, the, the finish tone is incredible. So that's a big part of this guitar, is this wood right here. Um, this one had a really interesting story in that it had a big wormhole, um, and the set was so good that they wanted to save it, so they came up with the idea of using it in this series and doing this beautiful vine inlay here. Um, and be sure to look at the pictures and enlarge them so you can really enjoy what this guitar has to offer. It, it's magical. Um, so really stunning inlay. Um, they used a lot of green abalone on this guitar, um, as well as some other materials, of course. The whole guitar is 45 style, so it's got beautiful thin green abalone everywhere you can look. The, um, the bindings are actually myrtle wood, so it looks a little bit like maple, but it's myrtle wood, so it has a little bit softer hue to it, which I really love. While we're back here, I want to show you the back of the neck. It is also sunburst, so the back of the neck is sunburst. and. The sunburst, even the Thompson inlay uh, logo on the back is within the sunburst. So just tricky, it's tricky stuff to do. These are little details that Simon um, you know, told me about that I just want to share with you to show how special this guitar is and how much effort they put into it. So the sides again, 45 style. The top is incredible Adirondack spruce, really awesome grain sunburst, of course. The rosette's a little different than they typically do because this guitar could support a little bit more um, energy in the center there, you know, just a lot of drama going on. The bridge is just gorgeous, and if you look close at the pictures, you'll see the perfectly line around the saddle, so something you don't see very much, and just another thing that's, you know, I couldn't imagine having to do that. And even the um, pins, they actually drilled themselves to put smaller green abalone in there to keep it sort of subtle but very beautiful, and of course tying it in with the instrument. Then you get to the fingerboard, and this is maybe the most impressive part of this guitar. So really look close at the pictures, but it's hard to, for me to give you all, you know, the, the, the real detail of how much work there is on a video, but look at the pictures close. But basically you'll see that there's a, an ebony board with um, and each fret and area cut out with rosewood inset to it. And then in between the two, a white purfling line, I'm guessing is maple or myrtle wood. Um, so all of that work on every fret, I, I can't imagine how much time that took. And certainly Simon confirmed that's one of the most um, special features of this guitar is just all of that work right there. And then the headstock, of course, echoes the vine. Snakewood buttons on the tuners. Just, you know, everything, absolute best of the best materials. And Simon expressed to me how the team really came together and used all their talents to, to be able to do something like this guitar. Um, and then Simon and I, and I both reflected about how put all that aside and it doesn't even matter because this guitar sounds incredible and it's because of the materials and of course they know how to brace them. Um, it's forward shifted bracing so very much like the pre-war Martins um, and definitely has a lot of bloom, a lot of character, a lot of energy and it's brand new. So in six months of play I can't wait to, wait to hear what this thing will become. It's going to be magical. So enough talking and looking, let's play the thing. <laughs> 